So let's talk about one of the most common injuries to the shoulder. It's called a slap tear, or that's the most common um, terminology for it. What it tends to be is, is let's just kind of break down the, uh, the anatomy real quick. The shoulder itself is a ball and socket joint, so it's kind of the humeral head, and then you have the glenoid fossa or the, the shoulder joint itself. It kind of just sits like a cap on top of that. Now, the slap tear is when that labrum, one of the, one of the sections of the cap here, tears. Now, the injury tends to come from some kind of like a traumatic fall, or they could come from a degenerative change over time if you create some kind of degenerative um, reaction into the shoulder. But most, of the com most, most commonly, it comes from a traumatic fall. Um, and more specifically, a fall, what they call is the Fouche injury. So it's a fall on an outstretched arm. And you're gonna get that force that's coming through the arm and kind of compressing and, and, and pressing up on that top half of the shoulder. And that's where you tend to get that, that labral tear. So typically in the office when someone comes with a potential injury to the shoulder or maybe a slap tear is, is we kind of have to determine have they had a long history of trauma to the shoulder itself or maybe some kind of instability into the shoulder you know these patients will come in and kind of describe like a vague dull and achy pain um, or most patients would even kind of use the the uh, the hot term or the code word as a dead arm they feel like their arms just kind of just it's kind of sitting a little bit, a little uh, kind of just an odd position. So a predisposing factor to a slap tear would be uh, some form of an athlete that might be like a thrower. So a javelin thrower, baseball, football, you're gonna see if the shoulder goes kind of in that like higher over overreaching position that might create a little bit of stress in this area because that bicep tendon will tend to kind of pull on that humeral head a little bit and create some of that tension into that superior aspect of the, of the, the shoulder joint itself. So the best way to diagnose a slap tear is, is honestly a, a diagnostic ultrasound or an MRI. Um, you know, when they present into our office in the clinic, it, it's going to be a little challenging to differentiate between the, you know, several of the different types of shoulder injuries. Um, so uh, realistically, you know, we're going to give it a good trial of care. We're going to give it some conservative care. Some, some slap tears will resolve on their own if they're symptomatic, but it's going to take some time. It's going to take about, you know, in the ballpark of about six to 12 weeks um, is what kind of the research is kind of pointing to right now. So realistically, after, a, you know, after a few weeks of trial and error, um, more than likely we'll kind of refer you out. We'll want to see what the shoulder looks like itself. Um, if we've been kind of treating it for other, other conditions. And if it's still kind of lingering a little bit, I think an image would be best. And that's what all the research is saying right now is as we send you out, we get a more diagnostic imaging uh, to kind of determine if this truly is a slap tear. So in order to get this treated, like I said, in a conservative care manner, it's gonna take about six to 12 weeks. And that's kind of what all the evidence is showing. Now that, re or that, that rehabilitation is gonna show you one, we gotta make sure that the tissue around the area is moving freely like it should be and it's not tight and stiff. We're gonna to have to teach you how to strengthen and stabilize that shoulder. So specifically the front side and the posterior aspect of the shoulder. We gotta make sure we got that nice balance of the shoulder. Um, Cause that's where we're gonna to start to see kind of the, the improvement is when the shoulder starts to kind of stabilize and support itself. And you kind of became, you know, you lose that instability of the shoulder and start to create that, that patterning.
Give the office a call, 513-463-3011, and we'll see you soon.